my name is Ida. Uh, I'm 22 years old. I'm a pharmacy student from Finland. Uh, <laughs> I like spicy food, which we don't have much in Finland. Uh, I like jollof and kelewele. <laughs> my name is Kia. I'm, I'm 23 years old. I'm from uh, Eastern Finland. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in to see this video. I want to believe you are doing wonderful. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Lillian. But if you are a returning viewer, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed, hit the subscription button, turn on the bell notification, put it on the last one that says all. That way you get notified anytime I upload a new video. I did a video on the University of Health and Allied Science. That was some months ago. And in that video, I stated that things were still going on there. And I needed, I needed an update if there are. And they're lucky for me, somebody watched the video. So someone that watched the video told me there's an update. There's something new going on there. So I decided to check up on them again and I realized that a whole lot has happened there and I would like us together to go take a look and I will be back. Uh, a donation or a grant from the government of uh, China uh, to the government of Ghana which was made available to us here at UHAS through a lot of negotiations and backroom discussions which I don't want to get into the details now but the, the end of the story is that we have a, a 60 million dollar facility which is coming up very nicely uh, this is a three years project it's uh, donated by the chinese government we are building we are building a central administrative building that's offices for the VCs and higher, higher, higher management. There are four lecture theaters that seat 200 students each. And there are many other lecture theaters that seat 100 students each. And there are only two lecture theaters that seat 50 students. So this is a game changer as far as our teaching infrastructure is concerned. All our health students are going to have a state-of-the-art simulation laboratory uh, where they can study and uh, have practical opportunities. I, I don't want us to politicalize this everything you see on my channel, okay? I have always been doing videos like this about Ghana, all the amazing things I see in Ghana. I've always talked about them. And my reason for doing that is I've always stated that I love to appreciate what I see. All right, so that is that. So let's go back to the school again to take a look at these ladies that came all the way from their country to serve at the school. I would like us to take a look at this white ladies in the school and i will be back to talk about it but before we go let me say that the development of a country rely not just on the government but on the citizens as well and the reason for that is these ladies that are going about freely without fear of being kidnapped without any they just feel free let's take a look at that first i'll come back then we'll go back to the school again for more My name is Ida. Uh, I'm 22 years old. I'm a pharmacy student from Finland, uh, University of Eastern Finland. Uh, I was born in Helsinki, but then I moved to Colombia to study. So we have two different internship programs in Australia and in Ghana. And I know students who have been here before, and it kind of just seemed really nice. And I have never been in Africa before, so I wanted to experience this and learn a lot of things. Um, so we have been here uh, in the hospital uh, three days a week, and then two days a week we have been in community farms. And here at the hospital we have done different things. We have done uh, work pharmacy, like more clinical pharmacy, and then just dispensing here and some manufacturing. 
I love the sunshine and warmth because it's very cold. <laughs> so this, and uh, I think that people are really nice and you can always ask for help and they are just like everybody has been so friendly for us and I like the food a lot. <laughs> I like spicy food which we don't have much in Finland. Yeah, I like jollof and kelewele. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's what you have here is very good and you are like you can have a bomba. Your name is Kia. Kia. Ida. Ida. My name is Kia. I'm I'm 23 years old. I'm from uh, Eastern Finland and I live in Kuopio. I decided to come to Milano because it was it sounded like really interesting. Uh, we have a house for our driver, uh, Eden from the new house. The life has been really nice. My favorite food is the <laughs> Weekends we have we have the places and also we just take a rest in our room and why I always give credit to Ghanaian as well as the government. What the government is doing is good, but see, the citizens can decide to frustrate the effort of the government and there is nothing that will happen. But not in Ghana and I am proud of every Ghanaian for this attitude. Somewhere right now, white people are not free to move like that. In my country, for example, my country, for example, before these white ladies will be moving, will be allowed to leave, to step out of that school, you will see security personnel guiding them 
And this is one thing that I will always, always appreciate Ghanaians for. As your government is trying, you too, you are doing your best. Because, see, building a nation is a collective responsibility. It's not just on the government alone. And you guys are doing very well on that. Before I get into trouble, let's go back to the school. <laughs> let's go back to the school for more. issues here at the comment section about this video because the chinese people are involved and all that chinese people in my own opinion if they do this for ghana it's not a bad thing after all they have been here around they have been trading here freely they have been doing business here this is like giving back to a community or to a country that has given you an enabling environment to make something for yourself so even me as a nigerian living in ghana and i have been doing i've been living here and the environment has been enabling me to do things that help me earn a living legitimately if i have opportunity to give back i definitely i'm definitely gonna do it without expecting anything in return so just in case we are wondering why are the chinese why are the chinese you know for you to want to give back to a country that has given you a lot you know we have a lot of the chinese businesses here we have china mall we have chinatown we have i don't know who own palace mall if they are the ones these are the businesses we know we have a lot of businesses that are owned by the chinese people and if they do this for us in ghana here i don't think it's a bad thing i don't think it's too much i think it's fair to give back to a country that has given you an enabling environment for you 
to work and you know do something for yourself and i always and i still want to say thank you to the good people of ghana for always making your environment enabling you're making it you're making your environment friendly for people to visit without fear people to come in some of these white people just want to come they want they are looking for countries to some of them are not even doing it for the money they want to do it for the ex, for the experience they want to do it for and they are looking for for countries for countries in africa but they can only go to a country that has security. They can only go to a country that is peaceful. And if you continue like this with your peaceful nature, I think more is coming. I want to believe that this video did not get me into trouble and that I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>